Welcome back to the RipeWave audio community. My name is John and for this video we continue our RipeWave audio series on home theater amplifiers in 2022 and this video is for Parasound and this all began with Monolith by Monoprice followed by Emotiva, Tone Winner, IOTA VX, Outlaw Audio, ATI Amplifier Technologies, OSD, NAD, Marantz, Yamaha, Onkyo Integra, Rotel, Arcam JBL Synthesis, Audio Control, Anthem, Stark Sound, and this video, our 17th in the series, Parasound. And this is one I've been looking forward to for a while. The Parasound amplifier range is uh, well regarded and it's one of their focus areas. And their Halo line particularly is what we're gonna home in on here. And this employs technology designed by John Curl here uh, in this line. Uh, some of them actually have his signature on it, like the JC1 uh, product, but there's also the A23 Plus, that $1,800 entry-level product they have, and on to the A21 Plus, the 52 Plus, the A31, the JC51, the JC5, and of course, as I mentioned, the JC1 Plus at the top dollar amount of $9,500. And we're gonna hit each one of these models. But we're gonna begin with the Halo A23 at $1,799. This, this two-channel model introduced in 2020 delivers 160 watts of class A, AB amplification. Parasound has a nice home audio aesthetic to it, you know, that brushed aluminum that is black uh, in, in, in its design and, uh, you know, re really tastefully done and would fit into a lot of different environments. Looking at the back of the A23, we can see that you can adjust the gains on the inputs and it will take both balanced and unbalanced connections on this A23+. Plus. The unit is also available in silver. So, uh, of course, Parasound caters also to the two channel market where silver is often uh, preferred over uh, black. But otherwise, it's the same functioning unit. And we look inside of the A23, and this is a nice design. It's got the big heat sinks on the side, toroidal power supply, good capacitor set in here. It just definitely looks like a well-built unit. Moving up to the Halo A52 Plus, this sells for $3,199, introduced in 2018. And this is a five-channel unit, and you can see the five status lights, those blue LED lights on the front of the Parasound A52 Plus. Now this gives 180 watts per channel, Class A, and then AB uh, for those five channels. And again, it is uh, both balanced and unbalanced connections. However, in this case, you don't have that input gain selector on, on the back of it. Now you do have options for how the trigger is going to be handled. Now we don't see any indication that the A52A is available in silver from the US website that we look at but the interior shot that's provided uh, looks like a silver unit. And uh, I wonder if that was either at one time available as silver or is available only in certain regions of the world. If you know more about the availability of silver on some of these models, uh, that would be helpful to the community. And uh, actually this picture that's shown is not the plus model, but the A52, so that might suggest uh, that they made a decision away from uh, silver for some of the multi-channel amplifiers. But uh, like the previous model, this uses a toroidal power supply, nice capacitors, nice heat sinks in there, and it's uh, delivering those five channels. This is not like a modular approach as we might see in, in some multi-channel, 
but you can see the you know five distinct heat sinks and amplifiers in there. Now the A21 Plus. Now we'll start with the black version of this. You got the two LEDs for the channel uh, indicators. It's two channel model delivering 300 watts of class A into class AB amplification. This sells for $3,499 and was introduced in 2020. Now this does have the uh, adjustable gains and it appears that that was something they were doing in their 2020 models and it's nice to see to have that capability of adjusting the input gain uh, there. So this is a straight two-channel model and it does have the adjustable options for turning on uh, with a trigger or without a trigger, etc. This is available in silver as an option. So uh, that is good to see. It has those little uh, gold tint accents uh, stripes vertically on each end. Uh, the inside of this is similar to the other models we've already looked at with the toroidal power supply, large capacitors, big heat sinks uh, on this. Now the Halo A31 sells for $3,699. This is a three channel model introduced in 2012. And this gives you 250 watts of class A into AB amplification. Now we see there is a gain of selection on this. So even back in 2012, they were making that. So whatever they were doing uh, with that one model in between where they didn't have that, uh, maybe because that was the five channel model. But anyhow, uh, nice to see the adjustable gain here. It has both balance and unbalanced connections, has the uh, adjustable uh, setting for how this unit gets turned on. Uh, what you also see on this is the THX Ultra 2. This is the first amplifier. We've been doing this series. This is, this is the 17th video. We've done 17 different brands, and this is the first time we've seen a THX certified of any THX certification level uh, for amplifiers. So this, this is uh, a, a unique, if, that, if you care about the actual certification, this is an option for you. And looking in the um, Halo A31, again, it's suggesting that uh, silver is available, although we cannot find a silver uh, on, on their website. Uh, again, let us know if that's available. But, you know, it, they're pretty consistent in their design style, the toroid power supply and the big uh, heat sinks uh, on, the, on the either side of the unit. Moving on to the A51, this is a, a, a five channel unit. It sells for $5,499, introduced in 2008, and this delivers 250 watts class A into AB amplification. And we can see this one's laid out a little different. We actually got uh, cooling fins on the back. The inputs are lined up vertically uh, in this case, choice of balanced or unbalanced uh, there. And they've got all the uh, speaker terminals color coded a little differently here uh, on, on the right of this. This is also a THX Ultra 2 amplifier. It's interesting to note that both the A31 and A51, the only THX Ultra 2 uh, certified models in the Parasound portfolio are at least 10 years old. So I'm wondering if Parasound is planning to do any newer models to also get certified. So if they come out with a replacement, will they actually go through the THX certification or do they feel that that's not uh, needed any longer? So that will be interesting to see how that plays out. Looking inside, we can see now how those cooling fins for the five channel model they also got the one in the back because they're they're placing one of the amplifier modules at the back of the unit, plus the two on each side with a total of uh, five amplifiers and with the big toroidal uh, power supply in the front center. Now moving up to the next model, we get into the John Curl signature. Now they all employ some form of John Curl design, 
But these, this JC5 actually has the signature on the unit. It sells for $6,499, the JC5. It's a two channel model. It's delivering 400 watts on each channel, class A into class AB amplification. And it has the adjustable gains on this. This was introduced in 2018, balanced and unbalanced connections. It's got the trigger uh, options there as well. And uh, you know, this, this is getting up into the flagship level, uh, one below the flagship with the JC5 signature John Curl model. And it is available in silver. Got the two LEDs in the front, uh, like the like the other units do, and those uh, accents on the on each end where the where the ears are kind of near. This is a grab from the Parasound website where they actually are calling out all the special features on the the circuitry within the uh, JC5 model. You know that they they've got these uh, 132,000 microfarad capacitance for the out, output stages, that they're using 24 karat gold connections. Now, it's nice to see that they take this pride in their design and that they're willing to show off. And, and I know, we don't see a lot of uh, amplifier manufacturers going out and, and really explaining the quality of components and circuitry that they have inside this. And, uh, you, know, a, a parent, you know, for those who really know what these circuits do, you know, the JFETs, the original Toshiba JFETs, uh, if you're in the know, that, that uh, you know, speaks to a certain level of quality that uh, may not be obtainable otherwise. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, you can read through the rest of these, these marks, but it's, I, I like this drawing here that Parasound will, provides on their website. Now moving up now to the flagship, the Halo JC1 Plus, this sells for $9,499, so just short of $10,000. And you can have a single channel JC1 Plus flagship. This delivers 450 watts class A into class AB amplification introduced in 2020, at least as a plus model. And uh, you know, this, this, is, um, this is their statement piece. And uh, looking at this, you know, it's the same design language other than you've got the John Curl designer signature on the front and back of the unit, but similar characteristics with balance and unbalanced connections, uh, the trigger options. Uh, this doesn't appear to have a, an adjustable input gain. They just made that decision while the JC5 two-channel model has that adjustable input gain the JC1 Plus does not. So that's something to take note of. And also available in silver, so in case you like that aesthetic. And looking inside this uh, top of line model, we can see it looks like the toroid is a little bigger, the capacitors are a little bigger here, uh, but this that general quality that you see from Parasound. And here they are side by side. And I love the consistent look. Now you're seeing amplifiers here that were introduced, you know, over a decade, and they all look like they're part of the family. So if you mix and match different models to make up your home theater, they're all going to look like they belong together in the rack. And I think that is um, really important. We don't see that from every uh, brand out there that can, that level of consistency that we have here. In fact, even the heights. Uh, aside from the A23 Plus and the A52 Plus, the rest of the models appear to be all about the same height. So uh, unless you look at the, the model number, you wouldn't know uh, uh, the difference between an A21 Plus and the JC1 from the front of it. Of course, the, the, the logos with the THX and the John Curl, depending on the model. And here's the models that we have the, the silver for. We know you can get the A23+, plus, the A21+, plus, the JC5, and the JC1+, plus in silver. Whether you can get the other ones in silver, uh, again, that, that feedback would be good to, good to see. And we've indicated, too, that the A31 and the A51 are the only ones with THX certification. 
And then looking inside, you can see this consistency, although the John Curl models have a blue cover over their toroidal transformer, but you can see everything's a little bigger, the capacitors as you move up the line and pay more. Uh, so I love the consistency here, and you're clearly seeing as you pay more, you're getting a little more quality in, in what's inside. Now let's take a look at the specification for each of these models. The input impedance of the A23 Plus is 33 kilo ohms for unbalanced and 66 kilo ohms for balance. This is the same for the A21 uh, Plus model. Now the A52 Plus is 47 kilo ohms unbalanced, 96 kilo ohms balanced. The A31 and the A51 are 47 kilo ohms unbalanced, 94 kilo ohms balanced. The JC5 is 33 kilo ohms unbalanced, 66 kilo ohms balanced, and the JC1 Plus is 50 kilo ohms unbalanced, 100 kilo ohms balanced. They each have an input and output triggers, which you can adjust. Uh, whether those are going to take effect or not to power it on and off. Every model has an input sensitivity at 8 ohms of 1 volt. Now the cost per channel, the lowest cost per channel model is the A52 Plus at $640 per channel. And given that there's five channels that has a uh, you know, the best opportunity to be the lowest cost. So the A23 is $900 per channel. The A31 is $740 per channel. The A21 Plus is $1,750 per channel. The A51 is $1,100 per channel. The JC5 is $3,250 per channel. And the JC1 Plus is the most expensive at $9,500 a channel. Of course, it's just a single channel unit. Now, each of these units are capable of doing 29 dBs of gain, although we don't have that uh, specification for the A31 or 51. It's not published. Now, the JC1 Plus is unique because you can select it uh, for high or low gain, either 23 or dBs or 29 dBs. Now, most of these units are 4 to 8 ohm loads, except for the JC1 Plus that will go down to 2 ohms. None of these have a line output pass-through. Now, looking on to the power output, the A23 Plus is 160 watts per channel into 8 ohms, 240 watts into 4 ohms. The A52 Plus delivers 180 watts per channel, 8 ohms, and 255 watts into 4 ohms. The A21 Plus is 300 watts into 8 ohms and 500 watts into 4 ohms. The A31 is 250 watts per channel into 8 ohms, 400 watts into 4 ohms, and this is the same for the A51. Now the JC5 ups the game with a 400 watts per channel into 8 ohms, 600 watts into 4 ohms. The JC1 Plus is the most powerful unit at 450 watts into 8 ohms, 850 watts into 4 ohms. Now Parasound measures this full range spectrum 20 to 20,000 hertz at 0.06% total harmonic distortion, which is a very good way to measure it. Now, while all of these are class A into class AB amplifiers, as specified on their website in the literature, Parason doesn't seem to be publishing what wattage it will deliver class A into uh, for most of these models, except for the John Curl 
signature edition. So the JC5, it does advertise as going up to 12 watts before cutting over to class AB versus the JC1 Plus, which goes up to 25 watts uh, per channel and then cuts over to class AB. So we don't know where that's going to cut over for the other models. One might assume those were lower numbers for the other models, but we don't know. If you happen to know, please uh, give that feedback. Now the signal to noise ratio is 115 dBs for the A23 uh, plus. This is A weighted, 112 dBs for the A52 plus, as well as the A21 plus, and the A31 and the A51. The JC5 goes up to 116 decibels, and the JC1 plus is either 120 or 122 decibels, depending on how your gain is selected. Now, a few of these models allow for bridging of the channels, BTL mode. That's the A23 plus, the A21 plus, and the JC5. So we'll take those two channels, those are all two channel models, down to a signal channel, and it will deliver for 8 ohm loads, 8 ohm loads only, 500 watts for the A23 plus, 1000 watts for the A21 plus, and for the JC5, 1200 watts. Now on to the dimensions. So essentially we have uh, about three different sizes in, in uh, these units, uh, more or less. The A23 Plus is the smallest. It's 4.1 inches high, 105 millimeters. The A52 Plus goes up to 5.9 inches, 149 millimeters. And the A21 Plus uh, is 7.8 inches, 197 millimeters. The A31, A51, and JC5, and JC1 Plus are 7.6 inches, 190 four millimeters, so slightly less than the A21 plus, uh, but relatively the same there. Uh, the widths are all around 17 and a half inches, uh, 445 millimeters, give or take. The depth is 15.3 inches, 508 millimeters for the A23 plus. The, all the other ones are around 20 inches, 508 millimeters on the depth. The weight, now naturally the A23 is smaller and it's lighter as well. It's 27 pounds, 12.2 kilograms. The A52 plus is 55 pounds, 25 kilograms. The A21 plus is 71 pounds, 32.2 kilograms. The A31 is 65 pounds, 29.5 kilograms. A51 is 87 pounds, 39.5 kilograms. The JC5, 90 pounds, it's the heaviest unit, 40.8 kilograms. And the JC1, with its only one channel, is only slightly less than the JC5, at 83 pounds, 37.6 kilograms. These all have removable um, power connectors, IEC style. All support either 120 or 240 volts, as we're seeing with a lot of these amplifiers, these have to be ordered at the factory uh, as either 120 or 240. They set them at the factory, then ship them to you. These all have a single toroidal power supply. The power consumption on these range from 800 watts up to 3000 watts, which is the A51 is consuming the most. The, the other models, uh, the, they range somewhere between 1,400 watts and 1,800 watts. Now, for the most part, they're consuming only a watt in standby, except for the A51 consumes 25 watts. So a little much, much higher on that for some reason. They all have a slew rate of 130 volts per microsecond. Crosstalk is where they provide it is between 63 and 70 decibels. Uh, or 72 decibels, I should say. Uh, the damping factor is 1,100 microfarads for, for most units, except for the A21, which is 800 microfarads, and the JC 
5 and JC1 Plus are 1200 microfarads on their damping factor. We don't visibly see any fans in this. If you think there are, just let us know. And that sums it up for Parasound. What do you think of Parasound? Uh, do they live up to their reputation? Uh, you know, do you, do you have a favorable impression of them? Uh, you tend to pay a little bit more for Parasound over uh, others of similar quality, but uh, you know, do you think that extra is um, comes back into realized performance and uh, owner, you know, owner enjoyment, if we if to say that feedback would be useful to the RipeWave Audio community. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Or you could go to the next level and go to www.patreon.com slash RipeWave and become a member of our community in a bigger way. And your contribution there would be much appreciated. And you'll have the access to all these PowerPoint presentations as well as the whole database so you can do your uh, own analysis and help you decide on which amplifier is best, best for your application and your preferences. Of course, you can hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when the next video is posted. Until then, keep evolving your audio experience.